Hello and welcome. In my upcoming video of um, wireless energy transfer I will discuss subject in details which has not been discussed or explained before. We are talking about impedance matching and talking about standing wave ratio and I will also explain why it is required that we deliver the energy in an efficient or in a, in a perfect way to a load as it is in radio frequency well known um, for antenna driving systems. So we have here our two Tesla coils and here I did build a very specific one. I will show it to you in a second. We have a normal um, driving circuits. We have here an, an, uh, just a MOSFET driver. It's the one I always use and this one can drive capacitive loads. I have connected it no, at the moment um, the system directly to the coil. And as you can see we have here we see 20 milliampere here we get only 9.9 .9 volt. Yes our load uh, at the remote side is illuminated we get 5 to 4 volt but we require 90 milliampere on the 5 volt side. So if I use just only one pole filter for example I'm just taking off um, this one and use the filter here it looks different. We get much much more power out. We have now 50 milliampere on 40 milliampere driven getting out of the system and this is a m many times brighter and, and um, energized on the output side. We simply have now adapted um, our system with a simple one pole filter which isolates the frequency to a specific frequency which provides a gain as well and also allows us to um, uh, align both coils to each other. However, it's far more complex and I will go into details about what that means and I want to give you a brief idea of the coil I'm using here now. So This is a very very large Tesla coil, secondary I did build traditionally. It goes almost up to the ceiling. It's one meter high, three feet uh, long with an extended um, um, sphere on top and I have the same on the receiving side. I drive bifila here on input side and standard coil on the output side. I have um, remotely connected then the DMM on the other side. Everything over 2.4 uh, volt is very very efficient and powerful. That is the equivalent of here we have 50 milliampere here directly on a line measured going out and on a load via DC via the um, primary coil we would measure about 40 milliampere uh, on the output side which allows us to drive the load. So as you can see here we have an efficiency which is higher than one by doing this way but that is not only the filter. The filter allows us only to align that properly but there is much more to the subject to discuss which I will go into details for my customers in my next video series. Thank you.